Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Danish, and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine let's start today. The discussion surrounding the deleting the zeros project in Iraq has once again gained significant traction, highlighting its intricate nature and the complexities involved in its implementation. This process is not merely about removing zeros from the currency it is a comprehensive economic reform aimed at enhancing the purchasing power of the Iraqi dinar. Initially, the project involves raising the purchasing power of the dinar, which is then followed by the issuance of lower denominations. The goal is not to simply cut off zeros from the existing currency but to ensure that the large denominations, such as the 25,000 IQD note, become more manageable and practical in everyday transactions. The Iraqi government has been very clear about this approach in various official documents, including those from figures like former central bank governors Sanan al Shaibi and Mustafa Ghalib. The situation today is vastly different from what it was two decades ago when privatizing banks or implementing such large-scale currency reforms were not even on the agenda. The landscape has evolved considerably since 2016 and even more so since 2018. The fact that Iraq printed a significant amount of currency in 2018 and then paused further printing suggests a strategic approach to currency management, reflecting the complexities beyond just pushing a button. Corruption has been a known factor hindering progress, but the involvement of international auditing firms like Ernst Young indicates a renewed focus on transparency and accountability. This involvement is expected to instill confidence in the global community, signaling that Iraq is serious about economic reforms and financial stability. With these efforts underway, the world is likely to witness substantial developments in Iraq's economic landscape. Iraq's role as a major crude oil exporter cannot be understated, with approximately 65% of its oil being exported to Asian markets particularly to energy-hungry nations like China and India. The remaining 35% is divided between Europe, which receives 20%, and the United States, which accounts for 15% of Iraq's oil exports. The successful negotiations in Washington have also sparked discussions about a potential decline in demand for the US dollar, as nations explore alternative currencies for trade. The recent developments in New York further underscore Iraq's growing capability in global currency exchanges. Starting last Friday, Iraq successfully activated its ability to digitally convert Iraqi dinars into other currencies and vice versa, marking a significant milestone in its financial integration with the global economy. The revaluation process of the Iraqi dinar is believed to be complete with the market now awaiting its reopening to observe the effects. This revaluation is expected to increase the value of trillions of dinars, reactivating various contracts and agreements, and signaling a positive shift in Iraq's economic prospects. The economic developments, the Iraqi central bank has entered into a contract with a renowned international auditing firm based in New York as part of its broader efforts to enhance transparency and regulatory compliance within its financial system. The central bank's collaboration with global financial giants such as Visa, MasterCard, and MoneyGram reflects Iraq's commitment to aligning with international financial standards. The involvement of KPMG, a highly respected auditing firm, highlights Iraq's focus on strengthening its financial infrastructure and building trust with global partners. These efforts are likely to attract increased foreign investment, further integrating Iraq into the global economy. Iraq's domestic landscape is also undergoing significant changes. The Iraqi government recently decided to impose a nationwide curfew on November 20 and 21, 2024 to conduct a comprehensive population and housing census. This decision was made during a meeting chaired by Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al-Sudani, where the preparations for the upcoming census were reviewed. The curfew is aimed at ensuring the smooth execution of the census, 
which is considered crucial for updating Iraq's demographic and economic data. The government has also engaged in discussions with the Kurdistan regional government to address the logistical requirements for the census, including the training of statistical personnel. The ministries of education, higher education, and scientific research have been tasked with supporting the census by preparing classrooms for training, while youth centers will be mobilized through the Ministry of Youth and Sports. The government is also expediting the transfer of financial allocations necessary to fund the census project. The logistical preparations, the Iraqi government is considering amendments to the compulsory education law, as well as providing additional financial support to the executive body for literacy in the governorates. These steps are part of a broader effort to address population issues, as outlined in the recommendations from international conferences and national commitments. The Ministry of Planning, through the General Authority for Statistics and Geographic Information Systems, is playing a central role in these efforts, including the ongoing census and related surveys such as the Social and Economic Survey of Families in Iraq and the Multiple Indicator Survey. As of September 1, 2024, the Ministry of Planning has already commenced census and numbering operations, which will continue for the next two months in preparation for the general population and housing census scheduled for November 20. These efforts are expected to provide vital statistical indicators that will inform Iraq's future economic and social policies.